Right, so it's probably not long now. I'm going to start dropping down to mid a, a big river. Here's a views. That's towards uh, Glen Wills, actually. Clearing there. Just starting to drop down, but wow, what a view from here. There's a big river down in through there. And Glen Wills out the back. G'day, Gordy. At an elevation of about 1,400. And already gone about 10 minutes of this sort of open clearing with these huge gum trees. So it's very nice, this section, and shaded. Now, I don't know if this is a spot that Julie and I stayed at, but it's not on the, the river itself. And I thought we camped at the river. Maybe not. So you've got this bit of a clearing here. And that's continuation to the uh, big river. All right, here's a big river crossing. Looks like I'll be going up the river itself. There is definitely no camp spot whatsoever. So that must have been the spot where we camped off the track a bit. All right, into the Tasmanian equivalent of the Never Never. All right, um, definitely do not attempt this uh, in sort of flood waters. The high waters definitely this time of year. Uh, definitely walking up river is the way, otherwise if you can creep down, you probably get washed away. Also, you wouldn't see your footsteps you know, where to walk. I've been using uh, wood poles uh, as support. Without it, I'd be stuffed. I've gone 700 metres in 40 minutes, so probably a kilometre an hour, and it's four and a half k's. So, unless I had a really good patch of, of this rocky area, um, it's going to be a long haul. All the way so far, I've just been in the river itself. There's just no tracks on the side and very little rock hopping at all. Just had to traverse this massive log jam. I was on the other side, come up over those rocks and through here. So this looks like a deep water section further up. All right, two hours 40 and two and a half K, so about a k an hour stopping for a break here's just another log jam to get through it is hard work and i'm about I'm about halfway and i am knackered and i just hope it does get better further up i really do never has a confluence of big river and can creek looks so good 4.6 k's and five and a half hours. I am knackered. And it's one of those things I'm, ne I'm never, <coughs> I'm never gonna do again. But once and that's it, no more. Wow, what a fucking mission. Well, here I am again at uh, Camp Creek Hut. Uh, things are drying out at the moment. Luckily, the sleeping bag did not get wet. Well, it's seven o'clock, I've had dinner. My back is really sore. <coughs> and uh, as I said before, I am never gonna do that again. That's just too dangerous, too dangerous. I was very lucky with the weather. Very lucky with the height of the river was not too bad. And uh, yeah, got here in good time. Anyway, back at Ken Creek Hut and settle in for some movies tonight. Oh yeah, and thanks to Stick 1 and Stick 2 for getting me up the river without falling over and getting absolutely soaked. So, well done, Sticks. Well, time to head back out up to Mount Bogong Cleve Coal Hut. I've hoped you enjoyed watching this and hopefully uh, you can have a crack at it, but fucking watch out. So, yeah. That's a good start to the climb out. Within five minutes, almost came head to head with this snake. Tiger snake? Great. Glad to see that. Started at 8.45, it's now 4.45, so eight hours has been a long day. 
I'm looking forward to a bit of civility and comfort and a wash.